metabolism. What is it? How can we use it in a way that actually makes sense when it comes to weight loss or weight gain? And so let's go ahead and talk about it. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to keep this as simple as possible. Metabolism is really the process of converting food into energy. When we talk about metabolism, we really want to think about three different components. Number one is our BMR, which is our base metabolic rate. So it's really how many calories do we just burn at rest? Because when we're at rest, we still have things that are operating that we have to use energy for, like brain function, organ function, breathing, uh, you know, recovery, those types of things make up what we call your basal metabolic rate or your BMR. The second thing is called your thermic effect of food, which is basically how many calories do we burn to actually digest our food. So believe it or not, it actually costs energy to make energy. So that is called your thermic effect of food or TEF. And lastly, we have activity expenditure. So this is what most people think about, which is basically how much energy does it take through the activity that we are doing? So resistance training, cardio, walking, those types of things. Okay, so now that we know those three components, how does that relate to weight loss? So remember, when we talk about weight loss, it's really a matter of burning more than what we take in. So we want to consume less energy than what we are burning and therefore we will lose weight. So how do we know how much energy we actually are burning on a daily basis? This is where those three components of metabolism come into play. So your maintenance calories can be found by adding your BMR, basal metabolic rate, uh, plus your TEF, so your thermic effect of food, your digestion rate, and lastly, your activity expenditure. So if you can add those three things up, that will give you how many calories overall you burn on average a day. And if you know that, then you know your maintenance calories, which basically you can start to make sure that you eat less than that, prioritizing protein, those types of things. Again, that's a whole nother video. You can go to things like caloriecalculator.net and it'll give you all of these on an average. So you don't actually have to figure this stuff out. But I think it's really important to understand these principles because when it comes to taking ownership of your health and changing your lifestyle, health and fitness seems a lot more complex and uh, getting to your goal seems way more unachievable when you don't understand these basic principles. So again, hopefully that helped and we will see you in the next one.